I'm pro gun, change my mind. We got some gun porn from Steven Crowder. Big man. <laughs> So this is old, but he, oh no, this is five years ago. Sometimes he re-uploads them, but I think this is gonna be good, unfortunately for me. Called Change My Mind. Pretty simple. Uh, we he stopped doing the Change My Mind segments in the wake of COVID. He did them less and less over time, but he hasn't done one in a while. He might have done one more recently, but yeah, he's a pussy. He doesn't want to have conversations. Go out and set up in public and uh, pick a topic. In this video, it's Second Amendment, where I just say, hey, listen, I'm- My dad is a mega fan of Crowder, listens to him like every day. Crowder has failed upwards his entire life and is like at the point where, like Steven Crowder is at the point where he's so stupid, but he has a big enough platform to attract the stupid kind of people that will believe whatever they're told anyway. Pro gun, change my mind. And we actually allow people from other points of view to come up and proactively change my mind. I'd love to hear from you what, what, what topics you would like to hear discussed on this. Uh, also, it's important. This isn't about just a debate or a highlight reel. The point to this- It is. It is actually just about a debate or a highlight reel. It's not about having a conversation. Stephen Crowder doesn't want his mind changed and he won't have it changed. Big surprise. Exercise is to actually get people to question their own point of view and see if their argument is rational. And uh, But weirdly, Stephen never questions his own point of view. So maybe at the end of it, they'll end up changing their own mind. So pro gun, second amendment, change my mind. That's such a funny like self report. He's like, maybe at the end of it, they'll change their mind. Even though I'm like dishonestly asking them to change mine. Mind, enjoy. Ah, my ears. Ugh. What is this? What was your name? Danny. Danny. Steven, nice to meet you, Danny. Likewise. Okay. I'm very pro gun, pro second amendment. <sighs> Change my mind. I'm open. First, I, I have a little... His shirt is so based, it just says socialism. Yeah, it doesn't say anything else, actually. Oh my god, that was Republican Vocaloid. Oh my god, you're so right. Oh my god. Clarification, um, do you believe guns have uses other than, um, hunting? Yes. What? what do you believe those are? Uh, I believe that the Second Amendment, the Second Amendment, I should clarify. He's immediately bringing up the Second Amendment. And what you say, I'm going to teach you guys how to argue against someone who's like a gun, gun pervert. All okay? right. He immediately brings up the Second Amendment. He's like, okay, uh, well, the Second Amendment says that you should uh, do uh, like have a gun to protect your house or whatever. All you need to say is like, okay, that's wrong. Fuck that. It's about the basic right to self-preservation. Constitution's wrong. Be that from uh, internal threats, be that from domestic threats, or be that from- Shut up and stop talking about fucking- Stop reciting the Constitution, you pervert. The Constitution is incorrect. Bad take. Bad take, Thomas Jefferson. Threat of a tyrannical government. That's the purpose and intent of the Second Amendment. Yeah, to resist the threat of tyrannical government. You know they have drones now, right? Some fucking, like, 18-year-old kid who plays Fortnite on the weekends is gonna fucking evaporate your entire house from a- control station in Iowa. Doesn't matter how many guns you have, idiot. That is my contention. I agree that the Second Amendment has that intention. Yeah, like, I agree that that's what the words are. However, I do think that guns aren't necessarily the most effective way of defense. Okay. I believe that um, guns are so easy to Sorry, would you mind have, holding the mic just to you? Just okay. so I can, yeah, sorry. So, the people are talking, so I get loud. I believe that if you have a gun, if, for example, in the case of a home invasion, sure. if you are a good gun owner, have it in a safe, in a safe place, and, you know, not like under your pillow or anything, right. um, and you take care of it, then by the time you get to your gun, it probably is already too late to defend yourself. Sure. Well, I guess let's define sort of maybe we're not disagreeing it seems like maybe you're pro second amendment you believe that people have the right it immediately starts putting words in our mouth uh-huh i didn't listen to anything you said but it does sound like we agree to purchase and bear arms um as to whether an individual is effective in defending their house with their own firearm i can tell you that mine is very easily accessible and m many of them easily accessible for me for my kids and that's good actually um and that wouldn't be the scenario so it doesn't change the right for me to have that firearm to protect my home uh, I also believe that um, there is definitely a reason to have them for sport, um, not not just hunting, but also um, aiming practice gun sure. ranges. He is he's he is doing bisexual sitting. You're right. Um, I have a friend who um, was uh, on. Gun enthusiasts be like to protect yourself. Why do you have to protect yourself? It's almost like you don't have a reliable police force. I mean, yeah, that's a separate issue though. Their way to actually becoming a professional marksman. 
um, but then they got glaucoma. Yeah, but that, that's not what the Second Amendment is about. So I guess we're still... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up, you fucking pervert. Somebody said, damn, I sit like that all the time. Am I that obvious? Only to other bi people. We agree on yeah. that. You're probably not looking to change my mind on that. You agree people have the right to purchase and bear arms. Yes, I, I have an <coughs> disagreement with the... Mostly the um, concealed carry laws and such. In that I believe that, you know, having a gun for, you know, the purposes I've set out... Um, is perfectly fine, but that's no reason to carry one around in public, particularly because um, it could be used against you. Someone could grab it off your person and threaten you with it. Someone could take your- See, he's like, put her in a corner by implying that they agree, and he's being like very- What's the word I'm looking for? He's being like intentionally really uh friendly and very like engaging and like oh yeah no so like we're on the same side so like to someone who's not used to like confrontational arguments like this it like makes you feel like you have to come up with like a very specific scenario to like be like okay well like concealed carry what if someone pulls a gun out of your thing and it's like that's like never happened ever anyway like of course it has but it's like that's not like the issue right the issue is like how easy it is to buy a gun you know he's trying to be paternal no he's being condescending because it's just the only thing he knows how to do guns are kind of cringe plus l plus guns <laughs> i mean i don't even think that necessarily my my opinion is that it's just too easy to get them you don't need a license in in a lot of places to have a gun and you don't need to register it and that's insane that's just objectively not okay your car and the second amendment is about militias yeah it is run you over with it no. yeah but <laughs> Yeah, but how often does that happen? Other than when, you know, Nazis do it at Charlottesville. I really wish I could talk to Steven Crowder. You guys, can we all annoy Steven Crowder to talk to me? Please? We can't sell you a car? Cars actually kill way more people than guns. But Yeah, but car accidents, not fucking <laughs> car manslaughter, like like car murder. <laughs> Cars are necessary to get to point A to, from from point A to point yeah. B. Yeah, and that's also true. Like you you use cars for other things. You can't ride your gun to work. They're no, they're not. You can take public. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> what a fucking loser. No, they're not. You gonna take public transport? Take the bus? Yeah, man. What if the bus is broken that day? <laughs> You can take a bike, you can walk. You not can everywhere. Yeah, not, e not everywhere. It's delusional to say that you can walk everywhere in America. Everyone has public transportation. There's always a way. Many There's always a way. And it's not even like that you need a car. It's just that a car is what this country is built around. And not only that, the car also has other utility. Guns don't have any utility other than murder. Death. Kill. You can justify that murder as much as you want, but it's still death. Rural areas, you need you need a car in order. Yeah. To also, get... exactly. If you live in a fucking rural area, there's no bus coming to you. Several miles to the grocery store to get your food for so, the day. Let me ask you this: Is it your contention that and then he ignores that and talks about something else? That because something you can legally own could be used against you or someone else, the government has the right to tell you that you couldn't own said item. Yes, they do that with cars. Is that your presupposition? That's exactly what they do with cars by requiring you to get a license and take a test. And if you should, if you have to take a test to get a car, you should have to take a test to get a gun at least. Like you shouldn't just be able to buy a gun and have a gun. That's insane. That's why we have so many fucking school shootings and mass shootings. What the hell? It's not like you can't own it. You can own it. It's that you can't, for no good reason, bring it out in public. What would be no good reason? What would be a good reason for someone to have to be able to exercise their right to protect themselves? And like, this is a completely irrelevant like conversation. A good reason is I am bringing this gun to the gun range to go. Like we are talking about something that does not matter right now. To protect myself. Let's get rid of the sports and the hunting aspect of it, right? The second one exists to protect there's... yourself. So why is it, again, I'm hearing, why does the government have the right, if I'm a law-abiding citizen, to tell me that I cannot protect myself with my... <laughs> why does the government have the right to tell me that I can't drive? Why does the government have the right to tell me that I can't rob a bank? Like, the government tells you not to do a lot of things. Should someone have to have a government-issued license to drive a car? Oh Hell no! Woo! I respect the Libertarian Party for uh, fully committing to the piss aesthetic. Dr. Feldman.
A car is like a gun or anything else, as long as you're- Bro, this guy ran for president. Do you- can you imagine if this was our president? <laughs> using it right and not using it to hurt other people you should have a right to use it a license and a permit is just another way to get some money and inconvenience to people mr mcafee i don't think licenses are required however if you are uh, under 16 and your parents say you can drive and you haven't done it before you should put a flashing pink light on your roof at least so we can get out of your way. Imagine he was president. Wait, John McAfee died? Wait, that's the actual John McAfee? Oh shit, I didn't even think, I didn't even notice that. Oh God. That at the most. Mr. Perry. I didn't know he died. The government ha, requires ha, ha. licenses for, to for far too many things. The government requires licenses for people to broadcast radio. The government requires Hell licenses no. to get married. They require a yeah. They require an age of consent. License to drive. What's next? next? Requiring, Requiring a, a license, license to make, make toast in your own, own damn, damn toaster? toaster? Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Absolutely not. God, look at these motherfuckers. Ugh. Governor. I think government has a basic responsibility to protect us against individuals, groups, corporations, foreign governments that would do us harm. Boo. In that context, a license to drive? You know, I'd like to see some competency Hell no. exhibited by people before they drive. Boo. Bullshit. That's bullshit, man. And what's funny is that he became the nominee. <laughs> that that guy won. <laughs> Gary Johnson won. As governor of New Mexico, I vetoed a whole lot of bills. I vetoed the haircutting license. I vetoed all <laughs> sorts of licensing, but license to drive? I mean, you could, uh, arguably, you could have an insurance requirement, I guess, that then the insurance... What a pussy insurance company would determine i mean Whoa. you got people that are blind that would be on the road Whoa. i think that would actually ha continue to drive no. until they hurt somebody i think and that be sick we, gentlemen we have the question and answer for fuck you of gary debate. johnson you have 60 seconds to make a closing argument since mr mcapee went first mr he said mr mcapee oops firearm because the whole point of having a government is to trust the government to protect you. No. To... No. no okay, so what's the point of the government then, Stephen Grauber? It's not true. Because as, as a woman, I feel very threatened walking around at night on my own. You should probably get a gun. <laughs> God, that is intimidating. I have an app on my phone where I can set it up where one touch brings the police to my location and... It actually no, well. it alerts the police um, that I might have a call when I click a certain button. Like if I'm feeling somewhat threatened, I click one L button. Let me ask a question here real quick. And that let me ask a question. Um, the police come. What, what would the police be able to do that you wouldn't? I mean, ACAB, right? Like I, I agree, but like ideally that shouldn't be the case. <laughs> They are able to physically, if not intimidate, then um, well, contend let's say it's with this. Let's say a very violent attacker, okay? You call the police. You are calling the police because? Because I fear for my life. And they would protect you? Yes. With? With firearms, because they are trained and um, they have... Not if the perpetrator is white. Have, they have a legal responsibility to use those firearms. Okay properly in a way that casual firearms owners do not. Final question. Do you believe we Which have- Which is like not even true. Cops have like a 7% hit rate, hit rate anyway. Police brutality problem in the United yes. States? Yes. I do. I believe that police need to be trained better than they are now. But do you believe in a society where police exclusively are granted the rights to carry firearms? But uh, Steven Crowder wants just fucking... Yeah. Steven Crowder thinks the police are doing a great job and also thinks the people should... The citizens should have to also be the police. Police not only... Like Steven Crowder wants to live in the Wild West and wants to be a gay cowboy. Police. I say, I say police should have firearms to deal with... Yeah, Steven Crowder doesn't think there's police brutality and he thinks that cops should also have guns. Um, violent um, 
individuals that threaten the police officer's life. <laughs> okay. Whereas the everyday person should be able to rely. There's a lot of psychological uh, little little nuances, I think, to Steven Crowder's Change My Mind vids. The way he's sitting, the chairs that he bought, the way the chairs are positioned next to each other and not across from each other. Anyone having a conversation at a table like this would usually be sitting across from each other, right? But he's fucking stretched out. He's lax. His fucking top button's unbuttoned. He's fucking sitting there with his little legs crossed, squishing his nuts. And... You know, she's, like, compressed into this tiny chair, and he's just, like... I mean, he doesn't have to say anything to intimidate her, because he's he knows he's around, like, fucking weird, asocial, fucking nerd college students that don't have a lot of experience. And if anyone fucking owned him on camera, he wouldn't keep it up. He'd just cut it out. Well, sometimes. Sometimes they're not smart enough to cut it out. ...rely on the police to do that. Okay. Now, the problem we have is that we aren't able to rely on the police to do that. Right. I don't think the problem... I don't think the solution to that is get guns i think the solution to that is um reform the police department sure um and also like you know expect people to like be not rapists and stuff i disagree with you do you think that maybe after this conversation hearing some of the things that you've said talking about how you believe it's the government it's the job to trust the government and then have talked about inherent corruption in the government police force i would encourage you and hope that maybe you would reconsider some of these stances moving forward about having a society where only the police have the right to carry firearms. But she just gave a good solution to that, which is reforming the police so they don't do brutality. I think maybe we'd find some common ground that think about it, and then maybe if I'm still here, come back and we can, we can talk about it. But I know we got some other people here. He, he really did just say, I don't have anything to say uh, to debunk your point, but uh, just think about it. You're in line. Okay. What was, your, what was your name again? Danny. Danny, thank you so much, Danny. I appreciate you, you taking- Bro, he literally, wh what a pussy. He couldn't even say anything. He was like, okay, bye. The time. And one last little quip. Um, I'm also um, particularly vulnerable to police as a um, disabled trans person. So I do really understand the police brutality issue. Right. But um, I think that- Yeah, he literally panicked and was like, he hit the eject button. Guns aren't the answer. So thank you. Thank you. Music is too loud, Steven. What is that face? He looks like a fucking... He looks fucked up. What's wrong with you? Sam, Steven, nice to meet you, Sam. Would you mind holding the microphone up when you, you talk to so we can... Uh, you, know, you know how those work. He looks like an actor hired to play a pervert. That Oh, God. I would love... I, I really want him to hear that. That's such a good insult. I was talking to the... Talking okay. the netty thing. Yeah. Um, Sam, so you said you're a pro-gun, but you believe in some control. Yeah. Ah, oops. Okay. You're in college. You're obviously a smart guy. I think it's important then to define what it is we're discussing, right? Yeah. When you say some controls, uh, what kind of controls? Controls that actually, um, you know, a lot of Americans, when they're get, trying to get a license for guns or they're trying to... Um, purchase guns or whatever uh, they should be able they should be able to document it and not with paper but with uh, machine documentation uh, so um, and on top of that they should go through a psych evaluation of if they're too violent or they have a past of being too violent then they should be restricted or completely uh, opted out of even owning a gun depending on how violent they are yeah like you know most people who do mass shootings are like on the police watch list and they're like oh you know we we knew he had a history never thought he'd do this um, wait, wait, before we go so you were saying that uh, when was this uploaded this is five years ago uh if somebody has a documented history of violence mm -hmm. they should not be able to purchase a firearm yes domestic abuse sexual assault i mean fuck man these guys are always talking about fucking pedophiles like do you think if you're on the sex offender list you should own a gun i mean maybe then steven crowder wouldn't be able to have one i mean no i know matt walsh certainly wouldn't be able to yes or they should be restricted to only probably a handgun that's insane no it's still a gun. Okay, well that's interesting. I'd like to go And 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 that's what Steven Crowder is going to pick on because that's in a weakness in his argument. He's not coming in confident, so Steven Crowder is going to fucking rip him apart by causing I mean, he's not going to rip him apart because Steven Crowder is completely incompetent. But he's going to like pick at his argument like a little scab. Go back mm -hmm. to that. Can you do mind holding the mic a little closer? Sorry cuz okay. everyone's getting loud here. Um 
So if I were to tell you it's already the law, I assume you've never purchased a firearm. No. Okay, it's already the law. You can't buy a firearm if you're a, if you're a violent. Mm -hmm. That's not true. That's not even close to true. That's just a lie. Criminal. It's not allowed. Yeah. Uh, you can't buy a firearm if you're violent. It's not allowed. Yeah, not true. Not even close to true. Um, and they said, but maybe only restricted to a handgun. Yeah. That's, I find that curious. Yeah, this man is living in a different America. <laughs> Fake America. Why would someone be restricted to a handgun above other guns? Because here's the thing. Again, every American... Yeah, look up 40% of cops to learn more. ...has a right to own a firearm, and that's the Second Amendment. We cannot change that. We cannot... <laughs> <laughs> we can't change the Constitution, guys. We, that's classic America. We've never done that before. Um, take that away from them. And that's something we should always protect. I appreciate that. But um, demoting them down to, um, let's say, a handgun, that doesn't take away the fact that, hey, maybe someone might come into their house and, um, you know, might steal something or might affect their family or whatever. And just because they're a criminal doesn't always mean they're just, like, always going to be violent and sure. all that stuff. If they have a handgun to at least protect themselves and not cause... <laughs> Yeah, guys, if you're violent, you can have a handgun because then you're only going to protect yourself. What do they think an amendment is? It's a goddamn God-given right, brother. It's mass uh, damage to, like, what happened in Las Vegas. Right. Yeah, also, yeah, what happened in Las Vegas. Um, also, yeah, protect themselves from what? Other violent people with guns? I feel like there's a simple solution is to just not allow violent people to have guns. And that way, they're protecting themselves and they won't be out there to harm others. And if they do, we also have the police uh, at hand to at least you know, limit casualties and all that stuff. Forgive me if it's... In it's just a lack of uh, education, you know? He just doesn't know. Like, I'm interrupting. I just, because mm -hmm. you go to... I want to kind of address each point so we can find out whether we agree yeah. or not. So, um, uh, my understanding is that you're saying we should limit these people to handguns yes. as opposed to long rifles, uh, semi-automatic rifles, uh, yes. with which they could commit mass damage. So, in order yes. to mitigate the damage. Yes. What if I were to tell you that unequivocally, it's not even close, the vast majority of mass... Mass majority of mass shootings are done with a handgun, we know. Things ...take place with handguns. Like, okay, good, then ban handguns. Well... Then don't let violent people have handguns. Easy solution, easy clap. Uh, again... People put modifications on the guns, and mm -hmm. I understand that a lot of mass shootings also happen with handguns. No, most. The, um, almost nearly all, statistically. Yeah. But I know, I asshole. I also think that, um, actually, let me refer, uh, let me step back a bit. Okay. And where I'm pulling this idea of handguns is... Like, Steven Crowder loves lying and then, like, throwing in, like, an actual fact, but, like, in a twisted way. There was an article I read about someone creating a handgun that... Only I'm still certainly Smith Baking. Yeah, and he's not even good at it either. ...only registered to yours, like, biometrics. Mm -hmm. uh, have you heard of it? Oh my god, he's yeah. doing Guns of the Patriots. He's doing Metal Gear Solid. Yes, I have. It's yeah. a disaster, but yes, continue. It is a disaster, but, um... The reason I'm touching on that is because it's a really good idea. And, um... <laughs> the NRA, which I kind of have a problem with right now, <laughs> so, uh, not letting us research guns, in a sense, or... I kind of have a problem with the NRA right now. What is 40% of cops? 40% of cops... What is it? It's 40% of cops have committed domestic abuse against their spouse. It's definitely more than that, but that's the numbers that the cops report. Or making them... Yeah, it's self-reported spousal abuse. It's 40%. Self-reported. That's crazy. As from what I understand, I'm not too... Um educate on what the NRA is doing right now. It's just how they conduct more research on guns than anyone in the country. Yeah. And uh, they always find a way to like make sure there's no gun control going on and all that stuff. But um, let me say people are able, uh, able to put modifications on, on their guns, which mm -hmm. of course should be completely unaligned. It's over 40% and it's only what they self-reported. I think it's now around 45% self-reported. Yeah. And it's probably like fucking 70% in total. Wow. No matter what. Uh, like bump stocks, there's also um, there's also this. What is a bump stock? A bump stock is basically uh, if you fire a gun, that's thing. Just he knows. He knows a what a which you can put fucking bump stock where, is. Uh, if you pull the trigger, it constantly forces your finger back, so it's kind of like an automatic rifle. Right. Uh, and that's of course should be illegal as well. And going back to why I'm saying uh, demote people to um, handguns, yes, they're almost all. Uh, mass shootings are coming with handguns. Again, 
I'm saying people should go through background checks and all that stuff. But that already happened. I don't even think that statistic is accurate anymore. Like the vast majority. I mean, it's like it, it converges with another right wing talking point, and it's really fucking annoying because it's like the vast majority of mass shootings take place with a handgun. While mass shooting is like three or more people being shot, when it's like okay, when there's more casualties than that, when it's like you know in the tens of casualties, like disasters that happen like a couple of times a year, um, it's usually not a handgun actually. So. Separate issue. That already exists. But it's not too refined. Yeah. I mean, Here, here's one thing I would say. Like, the Vegas shooting is one of the most deadly shootings of all time, if not. Yeah, 867 people were injured. 61 people died, dude. That includes the, the shooter, but still. And we still don't know. We still don't know very much about his motivations. Mm -hmm. Respectfully. And I would just, I do disagree with you on several instances, but I appreciate yeah. you taking the time. Yeah, that and handguns don't lead to as many casualties. As like an AR-15 does, or even a shotgun. If there's a discussion taking place in this country, yeah, and it's between two camps, you're not gonna like what I'm about to say, but it's not meant as a personal insult. Yeah, no, no. It's between gun owners. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pussies. And completely ill-informed. If you've purchased a firearm, you would know that everything you've just said is untrue. Yeah. And it's and I don't say to insult you. No, no, no you're correct. As a matter of fact, I would recommend you go purchase a firearm for yourself, even if you're getting mm -hmm. a just getting a, a gun, a, a revolver. Okay. You know what I mean? A 22 revolver. Okay. We'll go through a background check. We'll see, ask them the questions. They're going to... Depends on where you buy it, idiot. Depends on what state. It depends on if it's a gun show or not. Ask for your license. Mm -hmm. They're going to make sure it's the same address that you currently live. It'll probably be the most stringent background check you've ever gone through. Not It'll true. More stringent than it's social just not... Security. Dude, okay. that's just not so true. All those things already exist. So I'm just going to lie. <laughs> a bump stock is not what you described it to be. As a matter of fact, I can make a bump stock with my belt loop. Really? Yes, okay. it's about you. It's a technique. A bump stock allows you to optimize a certain technique. Okay. Um, and it's already illegal to modify a gun to a fully automatic rifle. Oh. Okay, but people still do it, so you shouldn't allow them to buy the gun to allow them to modify it. But this is already illegal, right? So someone taking a firearm mm -hmm. and modifying it to make it an illegal firearm... <laughs> Me when I lie. Okay. ...is already against the law. It's already against the law to... So you should prevent them from doing it by not letting them have the firearm. It's a very simple solution. Just a firearm if you are a convicted felon, or if you're a violent criminal. Convicted felon, yes. Violent criminal, no. Um, you mentioned the NRA. There's so much research conducted on firearms. And it also, again, felons can still get their hands on guns, and they have. As a matter of fact, if I were to ask you, uh, how many defensive uses do you think there are uh, of firearms each? Yeah, you can also circumvent background checks by buying from another owner, from a family member. A lot of mass shootings, like, the person wasn't allowed to buy a gun, so they asked a family member to do it. And that's, like, where you get to the issue of, like, we should just have less fucking guns. Like, if you have someone who's a felon in your family, you shouldn't have a fucking gun, dude. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, gun shows are lax, too. Yeah, because it's buying from another owner, basically. If you were to guess. You know, there's about, there's and like again, guns should be reg registered, and you should have to have a fucking license. I would say a good couple hundred thousand, maybe. In you can 3D print guns. Yeah, that's a different issue, though. Into millions. Yeah, into millions. Okay. How many gun deaths do you think there are? Um, I would say around uh, ten to twenty thousand per year. It's actually a little higher than that, but mm -hmm. lower than that if you remove suicides. Okay. So again, twenty thousand per. Year. Do you think there are? Um. I would say around uh, 10 to 20,000 per year. It's actually a little higher than that, but mm -hmm. lower than that if you remove suicides. Okay. So again, there's th these are important, and a lot of these come from, from pro firearm associations. Mm -hmm. I think what is important when we have this discussion, and, and I hope it's been illuminating, maybe you'll, you'll rethink some of your points. Yeah, he's, he's also acting like states don't have dramatically different gun laws, which is super in, uh, disingenuous. I really encourage you to buy a firearm. Yeah. Even if you go right back and just trade it in, you can uh -huh. buy it and then give it right back to the gun shop and they'll. Mm -hmm consign it where they run a background show if you don't want to spend the money yeah because it's a very it's, it's an experience where you, you learn the things that you thought were not true okay and i think it starts from the, the he really he really said go buy a gun i think we started the common ground the second amendment is not about hunting mm -hmm. it's about the basic right to if i was him i would just lie i'd be like yeah i actually bought one the other day from my friend yeah he traded me an, a, a a hot wheels car for it now i have an ar-15 self-preservation yeah. uh -huh. And we either uh, support the idea that we have the right to protect ourselves, mm -hmm. both our houses, our family, our, our, our property, from local threats yeah. or tyrannical threats from the government, 
be easy. Okay, you can't stand up to the government, so let's just not even pretend like that's an option. Either agree on that, and I think we do, or we don't. Yeah. And if you agree that it's a right, like free speech is a right. Uh, yeah. I don't agree free speech is a right either. Stephen Crowder should fucking shut his free speech pie hole. You cannot remove a basic human right. Human right! Okay. Unless you've foregone it by violating someone else's right. Yeah. And I, I mean, hate you. that's. I love, uh, I love the Second Amendment. I love the Constitution. And I love America of how it is, and <laughs> I just love the idea that if. <laughs> Dude, this is disgusting. Some other country tries to invade us. <laughs> That's a hilarious fucking hypothetical. We have the like, like conser so many conservative arguments really do revolve around like, what if we're invaded by another country? Like, what are you a baby? Not only do we have the police and a great military, but we also have the American people who are definitely going to be pissed off yeah. and shoot the other guys. I appreciate that you recognize that. Bro, dude, if, if another country were to invade America, so many Americans would accidentally kill themselves with guns. They'd be like, I'm going to go fight the, I'm going to go fight the Russians and then fucking literally point it at themselves on accident. Like so many fucking Americans, like not e like an insane amount of people would just kill themselves on accident. It's not, I'm not even joking. Like, that's like for real. Because there's so little responsibility when it comes to being able to own a gun. And that's exactly why gun licenses and gun exams should be a thing. What was your name again, sir? Uh, Sammy. Like, you should have to know what it does. Sammy? But Thank you so much, Sammy. One thing I want to ask. Yeah, and just as many would accidentally kill their neighbors, their kids, their dogs. And we know that because that happens now without some fucking hypothetical invasion. Uh, and you were telling me to go ahead and purchase a firearm. Now... I don't mean to sound offensive to anyone or any viewer. No, no, no problem at all. The thing is, I'm a person of color, and I'm not even a black person. I'm just a brown person. Yeah. And the derogatory, the stereotype I'm always presented is I'm basically a terrorist, um, just by my skin color, right? Mm -hmm. No one knows my background or, uh, and all that stuff. And I've come from a very uh, conservative um, <sighs> location back in Florida. Sure. Now, um, if I purchase a firearm. And if I am seen around with a gun, I know for a fact people are, are always going to view me as a threat. Well, first so off, there's that. That is, a, that is an interesting point that he's making. I'm saying carry, you don't need to carry it around out mm -hmm. in the open. <laughs> he's not even saying that that's wrong. He's like, well, maybe don't like, you know, show people. Maybe don't tell people you have a gun. That's hilarious. Yeah. Uh, you legally can now in Texas, uh, but the concealed carry open carry, that's further on down the trail. Mm -hmm. Isn't it wonderful that there are horrible racist assholes out there, right? Mm -hmm. might look at you as yeah, you should shoot them with a gun. A certain way because of the color of your skin and think that you're a terrorist. Yeah. Isn't it wonderful that that doesn't affect your rights? Yeah, that's completely amazing. What? Yeah. Yeah. It what? Doesn't affect because guess what? That background I mean, first of all, it does. Because there's so many of those racist cocksuckers in Congress anyway. Drone check? Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. Like, you're talking to one. If you haven't committed a crime, mm -hmm. you have the same rights as that racist asshole down the street. Yeah, definitely. And that's the only thing is, you know, we either have to agree uh, on the freedom of, of... And violent racist assholes shouldn't be allowed to have guns. They shouldn't have the same rights because they're violent. The right for all of us to protect ourselves or we don't. Like, how, can't imagine what it's like. how can you so consistently advocate against mitigations that would lower violence? Like, how do you do that? I'm sure you've dealt with, with you know, racist encounters your whole life. and it's, it's, it's always sad to hear. But um, again, that doesn't dictate policy. And I would look at that and say, hey, isn't it great that despite what one individual thinks, it doesn't affect your rights as an American citizen. And uh, that's the beauty of blind justice. And if you give that authority to the government, or if you give that authority to an individual or a committee, yeah. guess what? It just takes one of those racist people mm -hmm. to make that decision for you. Or by what the fuck is he talking about, dude? Racists organize all over the country and they organize better than almost anyone else. So it's, it's pretty important, right? Yeah. Especially for minorities to make, to ensure that, uh, that they're not in, their rights aren't infringed upon by the mob of the majority, right? Yeah. I don't the think mob of the majority, AKA democracy. Anyone should be able to vote that brown people can't have guns. Uh, <laughs> and people would totally do that actually. Any more than I think no one should be able to vote that anyone here can't have guns. Yeah, but it's also, um, let's say I'm going to defend myself at home with the gun I've purchased sure. and all that stuff. And I happen to shoot the intruder. Yeah. Um, I don't know if he's a threat or not. Now, here comes the main problem as to why I personally won't buy a gun. Though I love guns, I won't buy a gun. Um, if that gets out into the media, I'm a brown person with a gun 
that killed an intruder. Yeah. Now, um, like he's docking. Now he's just talking about a cultural issue, you know, and like an embedded racism into American culture where like George Zimmerman was praised for killing Trayvon Martin, you know, in that scenario already, I'm always going to, I'm already going to be classified as someone who's again, very violent and all this stuff. But, I um, necessarily know, I don't necessarily know what that's true. What are you studying? Uh, me? Yeah. I'm a computer engineer. Computer engineer. Yeah. Um, I would encourage you, we do have to, I know there are other people, so we have to mm -hmm. go semi, but yeah, I yeah. would encourage you to read up more on the Socratic method. Yes. I think that if you question some of the things, and I think we... I'm sorry, what? Read up more on the Socratic method. Shut the fuck up, you weird pervert. Ugh. You should literally be arrested for saying shit like that. We've done it here, where mm -hmm. you've reestablished some of your, your views a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Um, I think if you Bro, he literally keeps doing this, like, my work here is done. Man killed by police in Alabama mall, mall was a good guy with a gun, family's lawyer says. Yeah. Black people are never seen as the good guy with the gun. Question some of the premises of, of your, uh, your positions here, you'll realize they're not necessarily true. Yeah, and, and not necessarily something that you can certainly confirm. Yeah. yeah, Socrates, great American patriot. Yeah, and I do think, especially in today's era, more important than political correctness, oh, more fuck, important sorry. than sensitivity, mm -hmm. more important than opinion, yeah. is, is guns. more important than even common ground is truth. Yes, and I think if you examine some of your premises, I say this respectfully, I think you'll find that they are incorrect. Yeah, and that's what I really hope from coming into here because. I'm saying I want uh, I want gun control, right? Right. And just sitting down and hearing about this, of course, I listen to. Uh, <laughs> That's awesome. Also, this guy's a, a Young Turks head. That's cool. And I listen to very progressive news outlets. I, I'm not. It's very surprising that he is so liberal. I, I'm not innocent in any ways uh, with this. Uh Bro, what is up? Come on, man. You got, like, you can't just show these fucking hogs like this. You can't just show bear hog like that. You can't just show me the fucking thumb patrol. I mean, come on. Uh, bias media. What? This guy is just fucking grimacing. What do you listen to on the right? Uh, on the right? Uh, I would on, say on the right, like TYT on the far, far left, right? <laughs> yeah, far, far left. Oh my god, dude, come on. Yeah, you need to listen to voices on the right. You do. Because TYT doesn't address those ever. Socialists. Yeah. Who do you listen to to balance that out? Yeah. I. Fucking asshole, dude. That's such a fucking pussy move. Okay. To be honest. Bro, this campus is crawling with cops. Else. I honestly, mostly, I listen to CNN. Uh, anything on TYT is just me events that happen around the world. I mm -hmm. never really take their side because, again, I don't like socialism that much. I think there has to be a balance. So do you think uh, watching TYT and, and CNN, do you feel maybe as though um, they've almost a startling degree mm -hmm. have under-equipped you? Yes, definitely. No, oh my God. Person, no, it's because you're stupid. <laughs> it's because you're dumb. I mean, he did lose this, quote-unquote, lose this debate because he doesn't watch enough right-wing content to know how much Steven Crowder is lying and what he's lying about. That's my advantage, right? That's my edge, and that's why Steven Crowder will never debate me, because he's a pussy. And, and maybe it's by design. Like, the fact that, that, some, uh, that you may not know that there already are background checks. Yeah. Their news, that's their job. Yeah, you know? everywhere, actually. Every single state does them. Yeah, and, and, they, and they're, all this, a... they're all the same exact kind of background check, too. Case, and again... I'm also not comfortable with watching Fox News because I know there's some stuff that are not true over there, and I've already uh, found that out. Sure. But again, going to CNN, of course, I also know some stuff are not true. But I didn't know it would like. Yeah, the cops are looming, bro. To this extent, again, um, TYT, great people there. I really think uh, they just need to bump up the information a bit more, and it's just. What does that mean, bro? This guy doesn't know anything. Bump up the get, information. Get yeah. off the screen. Start watching some more Shut the hell up. Yeah, Balance definitely. Um, but it's just kind of heartbreaking. That Bro, what are you showing me right now? That, um, I'm, look, I'm looking at only like left channels. I'm still not getting enough information. Get off the I'm screen, bro. I'm not getting all the information I need. Right. Yeah, and thank you for this. Uh, what the fuck are the cops doing? I think people are complaining, so he's asking him to move. I experienced in telling me all this stuff. But yeah. of course, they're waiting for him to be done. You, Sammy, I if this was a, like, communism booth, they would have fucking thrown it out. Appreciate it, brother. All right. God bless in your studies. Right. Engineering. That's Shut no up. No joke. It's not the... Are you guys the... students here? No, I'm not a student here. Do you have an ID with me? I do have ID with me.
Yeah, you're fucking. I'm not a student here. I'm a I'm a pervert, I'm trying to talk to all the kids. Yeah, I need to bump up the info. Is there a reason for needing to look at my identification, officer? God, oh my God, how do you end it on fucking straight up boot gargling, dude? He's swallowing the boot. So mine changed? No, you fucking idiot. Steven Crowder's the coolest Canadian alive. You need to come to bring this dialogue to the NYC zombies that surround me. What a fucking freak. Sad that any leftist would watch thinking, let me debate him. I would be able to change his mind. He's, he's right. I, 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 I mean, I wouldn't be able to change his mind, but I'd be able to make him look really stupid. Even though they would not make any difference argument, I mean, any different arguments than the one represented in this video. There were no arguments represented. They were just like, I love the Constitution. They would just be more emotionally charged. I could be pretty deadpan if I need to be. The first girl especially. You could see her in her body language that she is 100% going off on memory cortex and is, nothing she is bringing is an original thought. She just was flustered. You have enough of a conviction to change the human rights than you are able to. Whatever. Shut up. <laughs>